This is sadness. This is anger. <laughs> Takes over. This is disgust. How you feel about something, anything, determines your relationship to it. Do you feel sad, confused, angry, hurt, depressed, tired, pissed off, unhappy, exhausted, etc., etc.? The list can go on and on. These feelings are your relationship to this thing. So let's use your twin flame as an example. Any one of those feelings or anything else that you feel about your twin is your current relationship to them. Do you feel sad, angry, pissed off? That is your relationship to your twin flame. Those feelings. And unless you heal that, you will continue to experience more and more and more of it. That's why you're so pissed off. That's why you're so angry. That's why that, that emotion doesn't change. There's always an underlying feeling of that regardless if you aren't doing anything to heal it. Want a better relationship with them? Then those feelings need to be released or healed. The mirror exercise does just that. You can't have union without unconditional love for your twin. And you can't get to unconditional love if you have any of those other feelings in the way. They are the block. Those feelings are what is blocking you from union. So if you want to stay pissed off or angry or depressed, or unhappy, whatever, that's your choice. But it's not moving you toward union. It's not moving you forward into union whatsoever. Why do I keep mentioning the mirror exercise? Because it is the easiest and fastest way for you yourself to release your blocks to union. I understand that you're in pain. Separation is not fun. It's not a comfortable place to be. It's not natural. I understand that you've been hurt before. I understand that you may be fearful of being hurt again. I understand that this journey can be confusing that it can cause you to not know what to do, or not, not really sure what's happening. I understand that certain things have taken place that have not felt good and that do not feel good, and that there are wounds that feel like they cannot be forgiven or repaired or healed. That is not true. And I understand that you are cautious about having that stuff happen all over again. This is the fear that you must face. 
This is the trust that you must put into the divine and into yourself and into your twin. That you are being led to this challenge for you to work through it. This is not a punishment to make you suffer, but to open your heart fully to love. And the mirror exercise releases these hurts and upsets you have to fully opening your heart to love, to fully loving yourself. The focus has to be on you. This is not, this twin flame journey is not one of instant gratification where you just say, I want my twin flame, and poof, there they are. The work has to be done. And there is no magic wand that anyone other than the divine can wave at you in a YouTube video or a free consultation or in like some kind of messaging exchange that will completely absolve you of separation. You must do the work to reach union. If you aren't sure what to do next or what, what steps to take, Work with someone to support yourself in, their, in your journey. Invest in yourself. Commit to yourself. Conve invest and commit to your twin flame union. What I'm saying is that for right now, it will go a hell of a lot smoother for you if you focus on you and healing the separation within you. If you're ready for it, it will come to you. If you're not ready for it, that's okay. There's more work to do, but you will get there. Each step of the way gets you closer to your goal. Let that be enough for right now. So you can let go of all of this pressure and stress that you put on yourself by focusing on outside of yourself, by focusing on what they are doing, and focus on yourself. Here. What I'm saying is, does not mean that I'm telling you to denounce anyone, or cut anyone out of your life, or to make any judgment that will cause you to exclude any possibility. I'm guiding you to do the exact opposite. Focus on you and be open to anything and everything. What is yours will come to you. You will attract everything that is meant to be yours. What is not meant for you will fall away. And that's okay. Because what is meant for you is perfect for you in every way. And it will take the place of the other thing a million times over. So click on the links below to this video or visit asoneguidance.com to end your separation and to come into union with your twin flame.